Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. as they come in, all right? Number one, how do I prepare my household for a Lord? Oh, praise, that's a really good question. That's a really good question. How do I prepare my household for a Lord? All right, let's get it. Let's get 2nd Ezra. Second Ezra, right? Chapter 14 and verse 13. So the question was, how do I prepare my household for the Lord? 2 Ezra 14 and 13. 2 Ezra chapter 14 and verse 13. Now therefore set thine house in order and reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble. Go ahead. And now renounce corruption. So the first part it says, now therefore set thine house in order, right? I know what, when a lot of people hear, set your house in order. They really think that that scripture says, go clean all the dishes in your sink. <laughs> go make sure no dirty drawers in the living room. No, that's not what it's talking about. Your house starts with you. So when it says set your house in order, you got to make sure your spirit right. You got to make sure your mind right because being a wife is not an easy thing to do. I'm going to tell you straight. It's not an easy thing to do. Just like being a husband is not an easy thing to do. It's easier once you're all on the same page, yeah. But just being a wife, you got to be prepared mentally, spiritually, uh, uh, to be someone's rib, someone's wife, right? Read verse 13 again. Verse 13. Now therefore set thine house in order. Go ahead. And reprove thy people. Uh -huh. Comfort such of them as be in trouble. And now renounce corruption. If you are not renouncing corruption, you are not prepared to be someone's wife. If you are not renouncing corruption, if you are not, if you turn a blind eye to sin, if you can't correct your sister, you are not ready to be a wife. Why? Give me that in Timothy. Give me that in Timothy. Uh, let me see. Uh, 1 Timothy chapter 5 and verse 14. Watch First, this. Go ahead. 1 Timothy chapter 5 and verse 14. Go ahead. I will therefore that the younger woman marry. So a sister wanted to be married, that's biblical. That is the will of God for a young sister to want marriage, which is good. Read on. Bear children. Stop. Bear children. Hold that. What is the rock? Go to Sirach chapter 30. Verse 12. Sirach chapter 30 and verse 12. Go ahead. Bow down his neck while he is young. This is talking about a parent disciplining their children. Read on. And beat him on the side. And do what? Beat him on the side. Sisters, if you have a problem with discipline your children, you are not ready for marriage. <laughs> if you got a problem with disciplining your child, if you got a problem with correcting your sister, you are not ready for marriage. You can't beat my baby. Nope. Nope. My baby can do no wrong. You ain't ready, sister. You ain't ready. All of this goes into setting your house in order, mentally preparing yourself for marriage. Because with marriage comes kids. With kids comes discipline. With kids comes being stressed out. 
That's right. That's right. That's right. With kids comes sacrifice. That's right. You know, and it starts with you being ready to be married. So we got I don't know, I want I want to get married. Okay, since so you want kids? No. <laughs> What's that? I mean, what? <laughs> Bring it up. How you know you're ready to be married? <laughs> Especially if you're a young, a, a, a young single sister, you know. But all, all of that goes into um, preparing your house for marriage, right? We don't let uh Read it be, again. bow down his neck while he is young. Go ahead. Beat him on the sides mm -hmm. while he is a child, Go ahead. lest he wax stubborn mm -hmm. and be disobedient unto thee. Go back to First Timothy five and fourteen. First Timothy. So all of this goes into preparing your household for the Lord. And watch now, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all something. Watch this. Go ahead. First Timothy chapter five and verse fourteen. Go ahead. I will therefore that the younger women marry. The younger women marry. That's a good thing. Go ahead. Bear children. That's why we, he, uh, uh, Paul also says in uh, First Corinthians that to avoid fornication, get married. Read on. It says bear children. Read on. Guide the house. Guide the what? Guide the house. Guide the house. Sisters, are you ready for that role? That's a heavy role right there. Guide the house. Read on. Give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. Get, now watch this. I'm going to show you something. Give me Sirach chapter 25. Sirach chapter 25. And read 16. verse, uh, what verse you say? 16. No. Uh... Verse 1, verse 1. Sirach, chapter 25 and verse 1. Go ahead. In three things I was beautified mm -hmm. and stood up beautiful both before God yeah. and men. Read on. The unity of brethren. The unity of brethren. The love of neighbors. What's this next part? A man and a wife that agree together. You got to understand. Are you ready for that? Are you ready to give up what you think is right? to agree with a man. You know, a lot of times, sisters say they want a husband, but they really just want the ride. <laughs> they, don't, they don't want what comes with the husband. Being in subjection, submitting yourselves, looking at him as, as he is Christ. I'm going to show you if a sister's ready for marriage. Go to Judges chapter 5. Go to Judges chapter 5, and we're going to read about our foremother, Deborah. Who was called a prophetess? You know, sisters like that one. That's right. <laughs> she was called a prophetess. Verse nine. Uh, yep, yep. You hit around the head. You verse nine. Watch, watch how the our, our foremother Deborah. Watch how she reverenced the men of Israel. Read that. Judges chapter five and verse nine. Go ahead. My heart is toward the governors of Israel. The boy said, her heart, her mind, her intentions, her actions. Is towards the governors, the leadership of Israel. Sisters, I'm going to tell you something now. I'm going to tell you something. Let me move on because we got a lot of questions. If you don't have a counselor in leadership, the fathers amongst the body, you don't talk, you don't, uh, uh, give me some more, you, you, uh, you never ask for counsel, consult. you don't consult, you don't get on the, uh, uh, the chats, the single sister conference calls, you don't get on, you don't do your tests, you don't read your four chapters a day, you are not ready for a husband. Take that right now. So all of those goes into preparing your household for a husband. The sisters, be patient. Be patient. All right? Uh, one more scripture. <clears throat> Let's y'all guess it. One more scripture. Get, um, go back to Surah chapter 26. Matter of fact, Go to, uh, Peter's. Go to Peter's. No, you know what? Go to, go, go to, go to Ephesians. <laughs> Ephesians? I'm going to go to the script that they don't like. Go to Ephesians 5 and, and um, 21. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 21. Go ahead. Bring it Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Now, sisters may read that and say, oh, you, you're supposed to submit to me. No! That's not what it means. Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. What that means? Keeping God's commandments. That means if I'm wrong, you correct me. I got to submit myself to that because I'm breaking God's commandments. And 
Pastor, I got to submit myself to you telling me that you don't want to wash the dishes tonight. Therefore, I got to... No, it don't work like that. It don't work like that. Submit myself ain't telling me that uh, uh, I'm telling you to... to, to uh, uh, Bow down and conform to your person. Right, right, right. Bow down to uh, whatever. Give me a back rub. And you kick your shoes up. You say, hell no. It don't work like that. There's going to be issues. <laughs> Read verse 22. <laughs> verse 22. Read on. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband. Read on. As unto the Lord. You got to ask yourself, have you submitted yourself to your leadership? If you can't submit yourself to your leaders in the body, how can you say you're going to be able to submit yourself to a man that you're married to? It goes hand in hand. When you submit yourselves to the leadership, that shows, okay, this sister got a good spirit on her. When she get a husband, she going to submit herself. If you have not listened to one counsel from leadership, you are not ready for a husband. If you have rebelled against every counsel, every direction of righteousness, you are not ready for a husband. It is what it is. Because your husband going to direct you, and you know what you're going to do? Do what you want to do. Because all the red flags are there. And when a brother come and say, hey, what about this? I'm going to do what Bishop say. Bruh, ask questions. <laughs> you know, Bishop, when he say ask questions, that's a hint. That's a red thing. I ain't gonna tell you what this ain't gonna tell you the business, but bro, ask questions. <laughs> Read verse 23 again. Verse 23. For the husband is the head of the wife. The husband is the head of the wife. We don't. Even as Christ. Even is, as Christ is the head of the church. Is the head of the church. We don't. And he is the savior of the body. So you gotta understand. Are you ready to go through a man to get to Christ? Or do you want to jump over the man and go directly to God? It don't work like that, sister. Are you ready for that? Right, watch the next verse. We don't. Verse 24. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, uh -oh. so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. In what? Everything. In what? Everything. Sister, are you ready for that? Some sisters don't even want to wake up on that. <laughs> Bring it up. <laughs> Like to work every day. Sister, are you ready to wake up on time, make sure that your husband is, is uh needs are met before he go to work or, or anything? The stones are that's a small thing to wake up early to make sure your husband's lunch is done. That's a small thing to wake up early to make sure his clothes are ironed. To make sure that he got uh uh, uh boxes washed. That's a small thing. Make sure he got uh matching socks. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's a small thing. Sister, are you ready for that? I don't know. That, that's between you and the Lord. But if you want to prepare your household, watch this. Get to our six. One last scripture. Get to our six. Get to our six. And uh, read verse six. Sarah, chapter six and verse six. Be in peace with many. In peace with many. Nevertheless, have but one counselor of a thousand. Do you have a counselor? Are you in counsel with a merry, righteous, except righteous, uh, example showing sister? If you are, if you desire a marriage, you should be counseling with a married sister. A married sister who have shown that they themselves have uh, desired to be a Proverbs 31 woman. Be like Deborah. Be like Judas. If you don't have a counselor of that um, magnitude, then you're not ready. You're not ready. I mean, you're in it for the wrong reasons, all right? All right, move on. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. 
From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth